Hi, I'm Katie. I am a professional makeup artist and I am here with makeup tutorials in order to help you be really confident in doing your makeup. In today's lesson, I will be teaching you about blush and where on your face you should place it. So if that sounds interesting to you, just keep watching. So blush. Blush is a natural occurring thing that happens on your face naturally. No matter what your skin tone is, we have blood under our skin that will rise to the surface. That's how our skin reacts to different temperatures, different emotions, all kinds of things. It's a very pretty look and so we like to add uh, makeup blush to accentuate our features and to bring life to our face. Um, as I always say, only zombies have no pink in their skin. Everyone else has some level of red or pink in their skin. Uh, depending on your skin tone, will will vary where that range is, right? Um, so put it, wearing some blush will just liven you up and it will make you look more alive, right? So for uh, blush, we are going to talk first about face shapes. So um, I'm just going to talk about six basic shapes. So I'll put a little um, diagram of what I'm talking about here. Um, so. There are a lot of different face shapes and not everybody fits neatly into one little box, right? Um, for example, for myself, um, I am kind of a mixture. The top half of my face is very square, right? Um, but the bottom half is oval. So I'm more of a squoval, <laughs> right? Um, so you may be a combination of different things. You may be something that's not even here um, on this diagram. Uh, so first we have the most common, which is oval. Um, so if you have that kind of a face shape, you really want to place that product right along the cheekbones. That's really going to accentuate. Um, if you feel along your face, you are going to feel those bones in your face of where your cheekbones are. So just get familiar with your skin. Feel, familiarize yourself with where your cheekbones are right? Um, so the next shape is a long face shape. So if your face is very long, the idea of the placement of blush doing it more in a um, horizontal shape rather than up at an angle will make the face appear shorter and wider, right? So if, if we take the vertical line and we add a horizontal to it, it widens the face out just a little bit. Right, so it's going to even things out. Um, the next shape that we have is a heart-shaped face. So pretty self-explanatory, you have a shape of a heart, a very pointy chin and a roundness up at the top, right? Um, so for a heart-shaped face, you want to kind of accentuate that roundness and bring the roundness that you have up at the top of your face down into the bottom half of your face. So you're going to take your blush in more of a swooping, motion, if that makes sense, right? Around the cheek area, you're going to go in more of a swooping motion. Um, if you have a triangle shaped face, so it's going to be similar to, the, to a heart shaped, but not as round on the top. It's going to be very angular in a triangular shape with a sharp chin wide at the top, at the forehead area, right? So same kind of idea, but instead of bringing in a round-ish, swooping shape like you would for the heart, you're still going to keep a little bit of that angle, right? Um, but you're going to bring it a little bit higher right on the cheekbones, a little bit more similar to an oval, um, but you wanna bring some more width down here. So you're gonna go kind of more in a triangle shape on the cheeks to fit your triangle face. Um, then we have a square shape. So for a square shape, you want to bring some more roundness to the face to balance things out, to balance out a square shape of the jaw and a square shape of the forehead. So you want to concentrate that color more in a round shape, more towards the apples of the cheeks. So right here on the edge of the cheekbone, that round spot there, if you want to emphasize that if you have a square face. For a round face, you're going to do the opposite. So you want to take it um, kind of in a combination of um, a 
oval and a long shape. So you're not going to come quite as high of an angle um, as you would with an oval shape. You're going to bring it down just a little slightly, but not straight across. You don't want to go straight across like you would with a long face, because if your face is round, that will just make it look wider. You want it to, to balance out, again, the roundness here with the roundness here. And so you're going to come at an angle up on the cheekbones. So in general, most people you're going to want to follow the angle of your cheekbone with a few exceptions, right? So nice and confusing, right? I'll demonstrate for you in just a second here. So let's talk about tools and different products that you can use for blush. So we have our powder products, um, something like this. This is the Milani. Um, Tea Rose is the name of this one. This is one of their powder blushes. So that's a, an example of a powder formula. Um, that one's a little bit more matte as well. So you'll see they come in different finishes. Whereas if you look at, say, this one here, this one has a bit more of a shimmer to it. This is by Joyer. I think I'm saying that right. This is their rose gold duo, um, and it has a, a darker and a lighter um, that have a bit of shimmer to them. You have your cream formulas, like this one here from Honest Beauty. This is their one of their cream blushes. This is in rose pink. Um, and then you also have your liquids, which come in a tube and you can squeeze out um, that's more in a liquid formula. This is just a few examples. Of course, there's a million of them out there and you'll find your correct colors. So when you're going to pick a color and a product for your skin, um, you want to pay attention to what kind of effect that you want, right? Shimmers are going to reflect more light. They are also going to emphasize more texture. So if you have more texture on your skin, you're gonna to wanna to go something that's more matte, not so much glitter and shine. You don't have to eliminate shimmer, but you want to lean more towards the matte or, or go fully matte with your blush. Um, people with dry skin tend to like cream formulas because they tend to be a little bit more on the matte side. They're more emollient. They work really well with the skin and they, they are more hydrating of a finish on the skin. They don't emphasize as much texture as a powder would. Um, for colors, you want to pay attention to your skin tone. For example, this Tea Rose Blush by Milani will work on my skin because I'm very fair, but on a deeper skin tone, it's not going to work. It's going to look very chalky, very ashy because their undertones and the depth of color in their skin is different. You want to go with a depth of color that you like that matches your skin tone, right? So for a deeper skin tone, I would go for a more of a red, um, depending on what their undertones were, a brick, even a purple or a hot pink, something with a very rich depth of color, depending on how deep their skin is. Whereas on myself, I would go for something a little bit more muted and not as rich in color if that makes sense, right? So, and then if you fall in between, you, you kind of go somewhere in between, right? So for tools, if I don't want a lot of concentration of color, I'm going to use a large fan brush like this one. Hopefully you can see that. You can see how thick it is, how wide, right? This is really great for giving a nice sheer wash of color onto the cheekbone. This is great for bronzer as well. So this is really nice if you like just a nice soft blush. This is my favorite blush brush and I, I almost hesitate to show you this one because it's not available anymore. Um, this one was made by Sonia Kashuk. I've had it for years. It's my favorite. But you can see how it has a nice taper to it. The width of it really fits my face well. I like the density of the and the softness of the bristles. It just works really well for me. I like the taper on it as well. Um, for most of my blush applications, um, I like that one. You can also use a stipple brush like this one. 
Uh, this is good for cream blushes especially to give you a nice disbursement of color um, or something a little bit more dense. I like to use this one. This is a Real Techniques 302 brush. It's pretty pale, so I don't know if you can see that. Um, but you can see it has a similar taper to the Sonia Kashuk one, um, but this one is a lot more dense. Um, I like this one for cream as well. That will give me a nice concentration of color on the cheek. Or you have something like this, a round domed brush that you can use for a really precise application of color. There are also uh, tapered brushes, or you can use big fluffy brushes. There's a lot of choices out there. So you can play with them and find what you like. So let's get some blush on. So I like to layer them. So I'm going to start with the cream blush, the Honest Beauty blush. I'm going to take my Real Techniques book brush here. You can also use your fingers with a cream product as well. That's really nice to kind of meld it into the skin. The warmth from your hands and cream products really work well together. So I'm going to get some on my brush here. And we will apply it. Now I don't want to smile. So if you look, I'm going to place this here. If I place it on my cheek where I'm smiling, right there, Hopefully you can see that it's right here. And then I relax my face. It just dropped, right? And so it's going to drag the face down. You don't want to put it that low on the face right here, right? So get a tissue, dab that off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tapping, patting, stippling motion um, up along my cheekbone. So like I said, my face is square and oval. So I'm going to follow along the cheekbone, keeping some roundness here in the cheek, right? So I'm going to go along my cheekbone, right on the bone, right? And I do go back up to here. And I'm going to keep a little bit. So you can see, now if I smile, you see how high that is on my cheek? It's not down here, it's up here, right? So that's where we want to place it. Do the other side. Right, and then a cream, I like to really blend it out and I can use my fingers, I can use the, the brush. If you only use one side of the brush to pick up product, you can use the other side for blending. Or you can use a sponge, whatever you like to blend. I wanna make sure there's no stripes of color, right? I want a nice flush of color, right? So next I'm going to come into this um, Jouer palette. And I am going to take this darker one here and I am going to apply that just right here, not under the cheekbone, right? I'm still on that same placement of cheekbone, but just at the bottom part of it. I'm going to take my favorite brush, dab in just ever so slightly, knock off the excess and just right here along the cheekbone. If you move your brush in kind of a figure eight motion, it gives a nice blend to the product. All right, and then I'm gonna take the lighter color. As I said, I like to layer my blushes, but you don't have to do this. You can use just one. I'm just going to show you how I like to do it. So I'm going to take the lighter color in the Joyeux palette and I'm going to come towards the top of the cheekbone, not all the way on top, just that same area of the cheek where I put that cream color. Instead of coming at the bottom part of it where I just did with the darker color, I'm going to come on the top part of it and just lightly skim. And right here on the apple, 
Oh, I want that roundness. Now these are our shimmery formulas. So these are going to reflect more light, right? They're gonna give a nice glow to the skin, which I like. And you use what you like on your skin and then you can take your uh, powder brush or sponge or whatever you're using and blend the edges blend 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 so that it looks nice and fresh and flushed and that's how you do blush I hope that that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, if you need help finding colors, if you're really confused about your face shape and where you should put it, I am more than happy to help. Um, I do offer makeup lessons. I will link my website down below where you can sign up for that. I hope that you have a great day and thank you so much for watching.